Hi there, this is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, and welcome to the teaching of talking. So I'm going to invite you this morning to come along with me on my walk as we talk about some interesting things that affect all of us human beings. <laughs> yeah, it's not all about caregivers, it's not all about people with aphasia, but they're included in the conversation. And they should be included in the conversation and often are not. So I'm going to share with you today a subject that I think you'll enjoy. And uh, it's called, the title is, uh, When You Want to Do Something, Just Do It. <laughs> now, you know, you might say, well, Mark, I've heard that before. Yeah, you have. The Nike commercial came out with that years ago, and they said, just do it. You know, if you want to do something, just do it. And you know, there are so many things that happen in a typical day when our intuition, our intuition may uh, want us to to do something, to do something different, to do something a little challenging, to do something that's very unlike yourself, <laughs> okay? And uh, quite often, and I've been guilty of this, believe me, uh, you know, I'd be thinking, well, you know, I don't think I want to do that. It may cost too much money. Uh, maybe I, I won't achieve it. Maybe I'll fail. Uh, you know, I've got other things to do, you know, and um, and so what happens quite often is the idea that comes up uh, gets squashed. It gets squashed. It's sort of like when you were a kid and you'd walk on a sidewalk and you'd see a anthill in the crack between a sidewalk and you'd maybe some of you might take your foot and try and squash it. Well, that's what happens. It happens a lot. And it happens to people when they have an idea. Now, just think what would happen if, uh, if Charles Lindbergh had the idea to, to fly across the Atlantic in a plane, but then decided, nah, maybe it'll cost too much money. No, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll lose my life. Maybe I'll die, you know? So uh, there's so many things that come up with you because they come up with me every day. And one of the things that um, I'm making a commitment to, and I'm going to challenge you to do the same, is that when you have an idea of something that you want to do, do your best to just go ahead and do it. <laughs> because you know what happens? What happens is that you experience something brand new and you experience something that's different. And quite often, you experience something that is, that is exciting and you learn something. You learn something very important. Now, I remember uh, back in January, I was taking a course and... Um, I read something uh, in one of the photography magazines. Many of you know that I like photography. And um, it said that there was a photography workshop in Hanoi, <laughs> Vietnam. And you know something? I've been working hard, 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 hard for like 45, 46 years doing speech therapy every day. And, um, you know, I just thought I'd really like to do that. <laughs> But, you know, then all the negative thinking started coming in. Oh, it it's costs you a lot of money. Well, you'll be away from your patients for two weeks. Maybe some of them won't want to work with you anymore because you've been away for so long. Or, you know, maybe uh, when you get over there, the Viet Cong will shoot you. Or maybe they hate you there. You know, I mean, there's if you allow it, if you allow it, there could be hundreds of thoughts that go through your mind to prevent you from doing something that your intuition is thinking about and wanting to do. Now, 
one of the things I learned by uh, reading a, a lot of uh, books on psychology and things like that is that quite often the ideas that we have are usually ideas that um, we want or we need and that the ideas wouldn't come up if they weren't good for us or if they weren't uh, something beneficial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge you today that as you go through your day, think about, uh, when you think about something that you'd like to do, uh, try and arrange to do it. Try to make arrangements and then do it. And don't naysay yourself and don't think of all the reasons why you can't or why you won't. Because if you do, your life will start to improve and will start to have many, many more enriching experiences. So, you know, this also applies to just about anything. It applies to, to speech therapy. There are people who are tired of going to the same old therapist or using the same old technique. And they're thinking, gosh, I, I really don't like my therapist or I don't like the way that the therapy is done here, but I, I've got to stay because I've got uh, insurance or something like that. Please don't do that. The, when your intuition, and, and let me remind you one more time, when your intuition wants you to do something different, just go ahead out on a limb. <laughs> As you know, as as long as you're not going to hurt yourself, you know, but but don't think that way. Think positively. Think that any thought that you have to do something different is there for a reason, and is there as a benefit for you. So this is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist. If you'd like to find out more about our work with the teaching of talking and helping people with aphasia speak better, just visit us at teachingoftalking.com and look around. And if you need to uh, talk to me or you'd like to speak to me on the phone, um, send me an email at markidelman at teachingoftalking.com. And on that, I'm going to say uh, adios and goodbye and have a great day. And remember, remember this. When you have an idea that you'd like to do something and that something is different, just go ahead and do the research and do it. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye now.